Hi, I'm Jack Weeks for GPM Hydraulic Consulting. What's the most dangerous component on a hydraulic machine? Well, if you said the accumulator, you're absolutely correct. Of all the components on the machine, the accumulator is more likely than the rest of them put together to kill you. Now, how could it be so dangerous? Well, it's because it stores energy. And any component that stores a lot of energy in a small space must be treated with respect. Now, you could be injured if you put the wrong gas in the accumulator. Most of them use nitrogen. If you put compressed air in there, it could blow up. You could mount it improperly. It could come loose, sail around the room and kill somebody. You could fail to inspect it properly. It could rust and that would breach the integrity of the accumulator. But the most common way that people are injured by accumulators is by failing to release the energy before working on the machine. By that I mean drain the oil out of the accumulator. If there's any oil left in the accumulator, the machine can still move even if it's locked out and powered down. I was teaching a workshop at a planer mill in Florida several years ago. And while I was teaching the class, we got to the point where we studied a small accumulator and it had a manual dump valve. Now a lot of accumulators have automatic dump valves, but automatic dump valves can stick. Manual dump valves, you can just fail to open them back up before working on the machine. So I stressed to the class how important it was that before ever working in the system, they should drain the oil from the accumulator. Well, they assured me that I was incorrect about that, that they never opened that valve, and the machine could not move no matter what you did as long as it was properly locked out. Well, I knew I was right because I had drawn the schematics myself from a survey I had personally done, but rather than argue with them, I figured it was probably best to show them. Well, we were going to be going out to the planer after lunch, and I asked, well, now the planer is going to be shut down after lunch, isn't it? And they said yes. And I said, well, why don't we lock the machine out and see if we can make it move? So they agreed to that. Well, while we were at lunch, I noticed a fruit stand on the side of the road, and I saw that they were selling honeydew melons. Well, I like honeydew melons. So I stopped and bought me some honeydew melons, and while I was picking through them, I thought of a good graphic demonstration that I could do. So I bought an extra honeydew melon. I brought it back to class, and there was one guy in the class who went by Junior. Now, Junior was a pretty good sized fella. He was at least my size, and he liked to shave his head. He had some thick glasses and bushy eyebrows, and he had one of the full goatees with a mustache, so it was very easy to use a felt tip marker and make a pretty good likeness of Junior on the honeydew melon. Well, we took it out to the plant with us, and when we got the machine locked out, and I asked, now are we sure there's no way to make it move? They said, no, there's no way to make it move. I said, all right, let's put the honeydew melon up here. And I said, now, Junior, this is about where your head would have to be if you were adjusting the pineapples on the planer. Is that not right? And he said, yeah, that's about where you'd have to be because you have to reach up behind them. I said, okay. So we got it in position, and I said, now, there's no way to make it move, right? And they all agreed, no way to make it move. I said, well, just in case it does move, everybody get over here so that nobody gets hurt if it does move. So everybody got over in one position. I went over to a valve and manually shifted the valve that lowered the, the pineapple. Well, what I expected to happen was for the pineapple to come down and crush the honeydew melon. What I didn't anticipate was that since there was no resistance in the machine, the pineapple was the only thing moving and the sudden rush of fluid from the accumulator, the, the pineapple came down and smash, shot honeydew melon all over these guys. Now, there was no convincing these guys 
that I had not spent the entire lunch break plotting the trajectory of a honeydew melon. They had to walk through the plant with all the dust covered in honeydew melon. And I kind of joked with them. I said, hey, you got Junior's brains all over you over there. Well, I felt kind of sorry for them by the time we got back to class. But I'll tell you one thing. They never did work on that machine without first draining that accumulator. Thanks. I'm Jack Weeks for GPM Hydraulic Consulting. If you'd like more tips like this, visit our website.